Hi, I'm Terry Ann Carter, and I'd like to welcome you to my studio where I make my paper artistry and where I write. And this afternoon, I'm going to read from my collection, Tokaido, that was published by Red Moon Press in 2018. I'm thrilled to say that it was the winner of a Touchstone Distinguished Book Award. Tokaido was an ancient road that went from Tokyo down to Kyoto. And Hiroshiga, one of the most beloved woodcut artists in Japan, escorted the white horse presented to the emperor in Kyoto from the shogun in Edo, which was Tokyo, in the month of August, 1832. There are 53 stations of the Tokaido. Station simply means an inn or resting place. And I composed 53 haibun, which is a Japanese literary form, for each one of those stations. The haibun consists of a title, the prose, and then a link and a shift to a haiku. And I'd like to read one of those haibun from this collection. It's dedicated to my teacher, Patrick Lane. And in the Japanese tradition, great teachers and masters were called senseis. This is Station 18, Eriji, the place in the poem where language begins to work like breath, or a thousand bows to the sensei. For the master who brings salan and right and crozier to the campfire, how he tosses the poems into flames, how we watch the blaze until all the small words melt into air, how we breathe them in, how we stand on a pine-lined spit of sand. Night sky, first star, brighter than all the rest. Night sky, first star, brighter than all the rest. A few years back, I also wrote a memoir that was comprised of haibun. I started with my birth year, 1946, and I went to 2013, was, which was the year that I studied at the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics at Naropa. The title of the book is On the Road to Naropa, My Love Affair with Jack Kerouac, a Haibun Memoir. The introduction states that the love affair was a rocky one. As a feminist, I really didn't like Kerouac's writing. Uh, then I discovered his haiku, and I saw another side of him, and I began to fall in love. And so. Jack Kerouac's life is interwoven with moments from my own life. So I'd like to read from the year 1962. Every summer, the family travels south to visit my father's family in Gulfwaite, Texas. My Texan grandfather looks like Will Rogers, wears a Stetson, and cowboy boots. I see windmills for the first time, cattle, and horses red hot peppers. In this part of the world, young uncles bend on one knee, learn to distance themselves from the click of a trigger, a bull's eye shot. They close one eye, aim and fire, never missing a blink, never missing the pee in a Dr. Pepper can. My Aunt Shirley is a lady rancher. She makes homemade ice cream on the front porch. Dusty morning, on a wire fence, the ram's bleached skull. Dusty morning, on a wire fence, the ram's bleached skull. On the Road to Naropa, My Love Affair with Jack Kerouac, a Highboon memoir, was published by Inkling Press in Edmonton, Alberta. I'd like to read now a poem from Day Moon Rising book published by Black Moss Press in Windsor, Ontario. This is a collection of poems that I wrote when I was working in Cambodia for the Tabitha Foundation. 
The poem I'd like to read is For the Tuk Tuk Drivers, after Edward Hirsch. Tonight, I want to speak about the Tuk Tuk Drivers, who have so much faith in their navigation, who know these roads like a crab knows sand, three-wheel taxi, auto rickshaw, the canvas roof and drop-down sides, convenient in rainy seasons. I love the way they are willing to go off the path, find the gravel roadway to a family temple just out of town. Always they know the best restaurants, can recommend fried beef with green mango, spicy duck salad, fish amok in baby coconut shells. Still in communist style, we pass a poster celebrating the 10th anniversary of Khmer Rouge demise. Evil, my driver says, my father buried in killing fields. I love the Tuk Tuk driver who carries a stop sex trades in Southeast Asia sign. I trust he will wait for me, carry me home. My last poem is from a crazy man thinks he's Ernest in Paris, Meditations on a Brother, which was published by Black Moss Press in Windsor, Ontario. It was part of the Palm Poet series, books designed to fit in your palms. The Meditations on a Brother was about my own brother who was not diagnosed with schizophrenia, but we knew suffered from schizophrenia, lived on the streets, and then eventually disappeared. It was a great burden for my family because even to today, it's not known where he is. He simply disappeared. The poem is A Crazy Man Thinks He's Earnest in Paris. The last time you went to Europe, you might have been a crazy man, buying a liter of wine with bread and sausage, watching the men who fish between Ile Saint Louis and Place de Vergelon, their long cane poles casting shadows across the Seine. Plump Goujon, delicious, fried whole at the open air restaurant, the view of the river as Sicily painted it, gray skies and the great elms on the stone banks. Wherever you look, you find trees and bookstalls along the quay. The rental library and bookstore at Shakespeare and Company, 12 Rue de la Beyond, shaking your memory like a fist through glass. You walk in the Luxembourg Gardens where there are no restaurants, where you might feel hungry in order to understand Cezanne and the writing of simple sentences that you might compose in a notebook in a cafe that is warm and clean and friendly and cheap. You walk where the horse chestnut trees are in bloom and the children play on graveled walks, their nurses sitting on benches. You keep a chestnut for luck and want only in the failing light to walk through the gardens and stop at the apartment of Miss Gertrude Stein, 27 Rue de Fleurs, imagining her studio with art. Because you left your mind at home, you want only to listen to her opinions over liqueurs distilled from purple plums. You hear the voices of Eliot, Joyce, Pound, punctuated by the sound of the river glimmering with trout and the log-driven piles of the bridge. When the cold rains of winter come and there is only the wet blackness of streets and the closed doors of small shops, you dream of teaching Ezra Pound how to box, how to throw a left hook into the darkness that is all around him.